Let me try and do another one, right, but on the front here. Um, so we know the y needs to be zero. All right, so if we want to do it without a rotation, let's see how we can do that. Um, so we need to push it back in Y, right? All right, so we need to push it backwards. Uh, it's pushing it backwards is going to be pushing it in X, right? Hmm. What do I do on this one then? All right, so I've got another one here. Uh, let's try and uh, so we might need to make sure if we look at the all right, let's select uh, key number two here, which is this one, yeah. Um, all right, one of the things I noticed about this guy, um, he does have rotation, and I prefer not to have a rotation at all, because um, that'd be better, right? It makes the numbers easier to work with. Uh, so let's try and create this thing, uh, basically with zero rotation. So to do that, then, um, we need to make sure we only have cube two selected. And what we're going to look at is, look at the axes, you can see basically the one that's going basically up and right, and X is going back, right? So we need to basically make X zero. Um, so that this is corresponds to X here, right? Um, Mm. All right, so one of the things I noticed here is if we look at this one, um, you can see it's got a Y of 90 degrees there. Um, and I'd prefer not to be, I'd prefer to have that at this flat level. So I must, there must have been something that I was, I can't remember exactly, but if we're looking at the actual way that we want to format the actual tape the uh, the box it'd be better if it was just zero um uh it'd be better if there was the, the rotation figures were zero right so we can see that the the, the one that is corresponding to depth is the one going back that's going to be the x value right and with cubes it looks like we basically have to um these are basically um hard coded to mean x y and z right so we want to reduce the x value. This is basically x, right? So then we should have zero rotation, right? Correct. Um, so I don't know if you could do like a sample or whatever. You could sample like the statistics of it. Um, so let's move this guy out of the way for a moment. But you know, I could. I wonder if you can actually uh, snap it here. So let's try and move this guy into place. Um, if you get it reasonably close, I suppose, like if that's reasonably close and, and in all fronts, right, then you can sort of just, you can just easily just put the numbers in. And then all I did basically was I wanted to get a, if we look at that one, the scaling, the scaling here was basically three on the X, uh, size 60, 20, zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I want to do a scaling there, I have to do three on the X. Uh, interesting. So the scale here is going to be three. I have a little bit selected as well. All right, so we just check this cube two. Uh,
All right, so we put that in place, 20, 20, and 30. Hmm. And this, that's actually not going to be, uh, because we've got it in place now. See what's interesting, right? This one, because it was rotated, just to, just to verify this point, right? This one, because of the rotation, it actually had scale on the uh, Z, right? That X scale is not correct. Interesting. That was rotated 90 degrees, and this is the scale of it, right? All right, so this guy, right, you can see 311 one on the scale. Now, would, this, would it still be the same here? Let's see. See, no, right? I'm pretty sure this would be on the Z this time, right? some reason it works better so that's the difference right so that's why that's more useful uh this bit about uh, getting it to, to to go right in is it doesn't seem like a huge uh, problem um but yeah but that but that is the difference because now you see i've got zero rotation and it seems better if you're putting a plane in you want the rotation to be zero, right? I don't know. I mean, yeah. Because that way you'll be able to get some sort of uniformity over the other numbers, basically. So, and obviously, as long as I use this um, camera view each time, it will actually make more sense. So basically, TLDR, 311, I don't want that one, right? I want to always be use, using the same sort of coordinate system. Um, that's going to make my job a lot easier, right? And then the color is, is it this one? Yeah. I will still do it the same color. We can actually do it literally the same color. Um, but this way, I basically got, so we've got this plane. That one's also incorrect. They're all, I think they're all incorrect. But at least we've done... I'm not going to worry about it too much, but... See, that was... Um, you do have to be careful with the selection, you see. Like, I wonder if um, this is a better thing to select with. Because one of the things I'm noticing is basically that... You're selecting multiple. I, don't know, I guess we are just selecting the plane, even though the other things look selected. So this is a cube that looks like a plane. Um, in a way, you would think that like any, it's kind of like almost any cube, almost any plane would probably be better as a cube. Um, because say this was the floor, right? Say this was the floor. So let's do. So I'm curious, like how to think. Like the thing is, I couldn't really do. Um... Yeah, because basically, depending on how you're looking at something, right, is how the drawing will turn out. So, for instance, if we go back, if we go back to our floor plan view, right. Let's see how it looks. What will basically uh, the situation that we'll have here? So we want to create this area, and we do another cube, but we're going to make it do another flat. Now that's interesting because look where it's yeah yeah yeah. It doesn't technically matter how the cube comes in really, or does it? Mm. Yeah, as long as we keep the rotation constantly zero and we just adjust the other figures. And we're always in the same sort of frame of reference. It should be fine, right? Uh, all right. So we want to move this cube into position. So, so again, we'll just sort of just eyeball the reasonable position for it. Uh, 
and we need to flatten it, right? So let's think about what uh, the flattening. So I just want to think how we flatten. Is it just going to be reducing the Y to flatten in this situation? Let's try it. Yep. So we flatten it. And then to increase the uh, width here, uh, why don't we do this actually? Yeah, that's right. This is actually the way to do it. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking before. Um, so I think the length is 40. And then can we not just um, use like um, the, the more straightforward way of doing this? Yeah, like that, right? So I can almost eyeball it, and maybe it's actually 50, probably, or 60. But as long as we keep to the lines, right, the grid lines, I'm not sure I've even done that. It doesn't snap to the other one, which is kind of annoying. I wish it did. Does, is it going to snap properly? It does a lot of weird graphical things. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be done quite like this. But yeah, we can do stuff like this. 10. Yeah, I mean, th those numbers are pretty solid, right? I think everything is kind of snapping. It's just... Um, Hmm. So because we're actually working with cubes, let's actually look around the back of this thing now. All right, so let's say we want to actually expand it backwards. Um, not like that. I keep forgetting it's the, it's the, it's not like that either. If we want to expand this cube backwards, uh, let's think. So we'll go back to our frame of reference. And we want to expand the cube backwards so we can actually see it on here, right? So we have something to work with. Um, okay. So there's our cube selected. We'll move him back in X. So that is the correct thing to do. Um, we want to get, uh, we want to increase the X. And there's no way that for this the pivot doesn't make any difference. Is that correct? I guess it's like the pivot must be like a cross section through it. So perhaps if I did have it rotated, maybe the pivot would make a difference. It's a good question. It probably is the case. I may have to check that out as well. The way it's looking though is that if I want to scale it, um, it basically has to be. A, I'm just thinking. You, 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 all right, let's just make it like twenty centimeters, and then all we have to do really is just uh, move it backwards. Right, we'll do thirty just to see like what we can do with this. All right, so then we just move up here. And then we should just be able to position it in more accurately. Uh, I suppose it's 35 there. So that must be that 35 figure is. No, uh, it looks about 30 there. This would be 30. Hmm. I guess it is 35. I wonder where it gets that half bigger from. Because the numbers look really good otherwise, right? And I have a feeling that is actually... For some reason, 35 is the correct answer. I actually create this one. Yeah, this one's created incorrectly, so that's why it's confusing me, maybe. The scale is wise a thousand. Where do you get that from, bro? 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where it, 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 it figures that that position is 35. This looks like it's on a line here. What would 40 be then? Yeah, what it is, I guess, is that the... Um, hmm. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Yeah, I just don't see where that 35 comes from, you know. Because here is the X, right? The X position looks like it's 30. I wonder why it's saying 35. Is that maybe because... Maybe that's what I was talking about with the pivot. Interesting. See that the um, the y value is changing. But it is making a difference to the actual position. Again, it could be it could be an issue that hmm, it does strike me that just looking at the numbers I've got with my heights and all that stuff. The, the, the reason why it's it's a basically you've got five at the end is, is is to do with it is to do with the pivot in some way. There's no other there's no other explanation. But I'll 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 set that aside for now. Um, um can you actually select um uh do that do that uh like face yeah, so you can do face selection, right? And can I actually remove a face? Like, what is the deal with, like, how is this filled? Is it just, a, it is, 